What's up, legends? I got another Boruto Naruto Next Generations review for you, and it's gonna be legendary, baby. I believe this is episode 11 or 12, one of the two episodes, but I believe 11. But this episode was stellar, honestly stellar from beginning to end. Sumire's in the hospital, Naruto comes, they, they reveal that Naruto's the one who saved her. Naruto comes, grabs Boruto's ear, acts like Kushima in a way, kind of. Not really, he doesn't like really like hit him or anything like Kushina would, but it shows his parenting off, uh, chooses, he's like, oh, talk to me after you graduate the academy, little bitch, nah, and the, it was just an amazing episode through and through, but I don't really want to talk about the complete episode, I want to talk about speculation, I want to speculate, and here's what I think, I think this is how the arc is going to end, okay, I think the main bad guy, I think the person controlling what we now know is the new which is a mythical creature which has the head of a monkey the body of a dog tail of a snake uh legs of a goat i don't know i don't know i don't know the, the whole biology of the new but um this person who's controlling this new is sumire think this okay so first off we see a masked person first off we don't know if it's a man or a woman we see a masked person in a cloak, a part of the foundation, most likely. We see them uh, take out the snake that bit uh, Denki in episode one to control him. We see them use that on the um, post office head chief dude. <laughs> so we see that, and we also see that that person is the same height as Boruto and his classmates. Okay, who else? Who wasn't there? Who wasn't around fighting this person when they were around? Okay, so here's the, the, the three girls in the hospital, the two random girls in Sumire, aka the class rep. Then Sarada wasn't there, but we know Sarada's not evil. We know Sarada doesn't have any ulterior motives like that. We think, at least. Uh, Sasuke's daughter, why would she just be placed as a villain like right away? It wouldn't make why would she be placed as a villain at all? It would kind of get old having Uchiha's just want to fuck shit up, you know, and we know Sarada's character That's not her so So let's rule out Sarada. She she might not have been there But I highly doubt she was under that mask unless she was being controlled So the two girls we don't even really know their names, but Sumire is important. She was in the hospital. Yes But they did not show Sumire during this scene when the masked person was there and another reason why I'm saying this is because the trope of Naruto which could easily go into Boruto is the people who have the most pain usually come out and do the most fucked up shit why do I say this Sumire we see the two girls leave the hospital leave Sumire alone and when she sees them with their parents she's just like she looks like saddened and we find out in the novel of the Boruto series, of the Boruto anime, that Sumire is an orphan. And that's like Naruto 101 for someone who's gonna do fucked up shit because they're hurt. They have nothing to like really love. They wanna find acceptance. That's 101 for Naruto. So Sumire is an orphan, basically. So she could possibly be controlling people taking their chakra because she's misguided by the foundation and wants to take this chakra to, revi to revive a miss. I really think Sumire might be the one who was under that mask, might be the one controlling. And another reason why I think, here's, here's another thing that tips me off to Sumire being the person controlling it. Episode 5, I believe, the episode where both they were summoning, they were using summoning jutsus. At the end of that episode, okay, Mitsuki... No, I don't... Wait, was it the summoning? No, it wasn't the summoning jutsus. It was actually the girls versus boys. No, it was, all I remember, it was a scene where Mitsuki, Boruto, and Sumire was on the roof, right? So, Sumire's like, Boruto-kun, are you okay? Are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I'm fine. He walks off the roof. Mitsuki's smiling at Boruto. He looks back at Sumire, and he's frowning. He's frowning at Sumire real quick, turns around. In this episode, Boruto, um, Mitsuki, he follows the um, masked person into this cave, and he's the only one there. He looks at them smiling, okay? He, he's watching them, just smiling. The person backs away and leaves. 
and then as soon as the person leaves, Mitsuki's face turns to a frown. So that's another reason why I think it could be Sumire, because he frowned at Sumire like that, and he's also frowning at this masked person, and the frown to Sumire might have been a subtle nod, a foreshadowing of this scene. So I really think Sumire is the person behind all of this, because she's a random, she's a random character. She's gotten a lot of screen time for someone who's not typically like a major key player. So I, I'm thinking, hey, maybe Sumire is the bad guy behind all this. But then again, when we think about it, Sumire was attacked. She was stalked by this guy who got who had a crush on her and got hit by the new, attacked by the new. But that could have been a part of her plan. She wanted to be targeted, so no one would suspect her. So we could. We could possibly have Sumire with a big plot twist. Sumire is the villain of this arc, but she'll probably come to a change of heart and be in Kabuto's orphanage by the end of the arc. So that's what I think about this episode. It was a great episode. I'm sorry I didn't really talk about the episode. I'm sorry this video is out so late. I just really didn't feel like I really didn't feel like doing this today. I don't know why. I was just kind of tired today. I really didn't feel like a re or in a review mood today. But anyway, this has been DZ Legend with no legendary commentary. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, legends.